Hey y'all, I'm your girl, Shanta the Queen Facing. Y'all welcome to my council. If you're new to my channel, to all my viewers and subscribers, let's jam. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Hey, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Y'all come on in here, walk in, run in, jump in, hop in, slide in, be chased in, thrown in, flying, sliding, gliding, flipping, dipping, whoo. Take a trip in here with me, y'all. I told y'all I did a live earlier. Y'all go check out that video. I was in the Walmart. Me and my friends, me and my family, me and my basket tills was at the Walmart earlier today. Ooh, y'all better go in there because I'm still out of breath. But I told y'all I was going to come home and put some baskets together. Didn't I told y'all? I took and told y'all that I was going to do that. That's what I did. You listen. Just did a very, 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 very quick, easy, simple basket design, y'all. So I want to show y'all this right here. I already had this box. I'm going to move this box over for a minute. Because I'm going to do this one right here with y'all on camera. Look, I'm just using the box that I already had wrapped that I didn't use for Easter. So I had this box already wrapped, as y'all can see. You remember I told y'all I was going to use these bunnies. I stuck that bunny in there. I put two pillows in here, y'all. Look, two of them Peter Cottontail pillows. I put one carrot on that side, one carrot on that side. Look, and all I need to do now is put some of this... I'm going to try this big, I like this um, shred, this um, shred right here. I guess it's called it's big like me. So, I've never used this before, so I'm going to put some of this in here. Hold on, y'all. Work with me. The reason why I use that red box, y'all, because I like the color of it. And it look, it's going to make it pop a little bit. Bring out that little brown. That's all. Bring out that brown a little bit. I'm just stuffing it. That's what I'm doing to all my um, beginner basket makers, basket buyers, basket designers, basket lovers i don't even know what i said but y'all know the line <laughs> yeah look y'all probably know it better than i do to all my beginner basket makers uh i have already stuffed this box with um some craft paper hold on y'all had to bend down and get some of this look i'm not gonna let my money go to waste stuff dropping on the floor so i had already stuffed this box y'all and put some a piece of tissue paper on top of my uh craft paper y'all so don't forget, beginner uh, basketeers, make sure you stuff your box first, either with newspaper, craft paper, whatever you um, decide to stuff your box. Now these, I will use plastic in my um, adult baskets because uh, I'm praying to God that adults know not to put plastic in their mouth. And um, so all I'm doing is going around putting some shredded paper in here to fill up any gaps that I might have. This paper big, y'all, and it look, it's started falling out like it don't want to go. Uh-uh, you're going to hop your tail up out of him. Look, it's going to hop up out of him. And I'm going to tell y'all in a minute, I'm trying to move stuff out of the way so y'all can see. I'm working with limit. I got my plain coffee cup today, y'all, because I'm just plain today because I'm tired. I know y'all said that girl tired every time she get on camera. I am. Mind your business now. I'm tired because I be in these stores and I be working at night. I'm trying to bring y'all the videos. Hey, hey, get the video. Hey, so you can go to the store. Anyway, hold on, y'all. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just putting some, um, I heard something, I heard something moving in here. And I know I'm the only one home, so I hope nobody don't get shot. Because it ain't going to be me. Y'all hear me? <laughs> Listen, hope nobody don't make no sudden moves. But I'm just putting the, uh, you can't really see it, y'all, because it's, it's down up in there. But if you see in the back, and it's not taking a lot because these are some real um, big items. And I'm going to try my best to put this in here without covering up my little bunny. I don't want to cover him up with so much. I want some uh, tissue in there. But I don't want to hide his little cute face. Hold on. So I'm just putting some paper in there, y'all. That's all I'm doing, making it look nice and professional, if that's what you call it. I'm just cleansing today, y'all. This coffee got to go ahead and kick in. But this this basket right here, y'all, I only use one, two, three, four. Hold on, I'm trying to get this paper to stay in my hand, y'all. I only use one, two, three, four, five items in this, and it filled up this box uh, real nice. So look, the reason why, hold on y'all, I'm cutting. 
Y'all bad with the old people now. Um, and I don't, I can get away with using just five items in here because they are so big. Y'all, right? I think that look cute. Look at that, y'all. That's the look, that's, uh, the bunny pictures, the two, uh, pillows and the two carrots, y'all. But let me tell you something. Let me ask y'all a question. I'm gonna ask y'all something seriously. I'm gonna ask you something. I'm trying to stay in the camera. I told my God, my granddaughter about standing in the camera during the phone. I ain't getting out of view. Um, so when y'all, to my beginner basket, basketeers, I ain't talking to my OGs because y'all already know, we know, half of us know, sometimes I know and sometimes I don't, how you price, price this. So, would y'all set price this basket for your selling now? Would you price this basket at wholesale or retail? Is that right? <laughs> y'all know I be trying to be educated. Stop playing with me. Anyway, okay, for y'all that don't understand what I'm talking about, and for me, because sometimes I get mixed up. Would you price this basket according to the price that you paid for these items on sale, which is wholesale, right? Or would you price these items according to the price that they would actually be if a person went out and bought them and didn't get no deal like we did? That's retail, right? Am I right? Y'all correct me because I know y'all will. So me personally, okay, so this is how this go. I kept the tags so y'all will see, okay? So... What was um uh, the carrots original price was $3.98 a piece, right? Y'all see that? So that was the price of the carrots. Retail. Retail $3.98, right? The pillows were $9.98 each retail, right? So what we at? 20. You might say 10, 23, no, 24. We at $28 already just for the for the two for the two carrots and the two pillows and the picture was 798 so that's 28 plus eight more what's that y'all know how to do the math that's 36 i had to count on my fingers yes i do don't be, don't come for me <laughs> i told y'all i ain't that great with math but i know how to count my money so we at really um retail this basket if they go in the store and buy this they'll sell they at $28 what this um, would cost. So to all my new beginner basket makers, basket lovers, basket buyers, basket designers, and basket admirers that started your um, basket business, that's who I'm asking. How would you price this basket? Okay, let me go on and tell you about me. <laughs> I'm talking about me. Um, I'm charging 10, 20, <laughs> 4, 4. Y'all hear me? So I'm charging 40 plus I'm going to add on because I got to add on for my time and for my uh, cello paper. Y'all remember we got this cello paper, right? Regular price of this cello paper. You got to add the price of your cello paper. So a uh, retail, this cello paper was 98 cents. So we had $41 just for this basket retail, right? So if I was to go put something else in this basket, y'all, I would never, I wouldn't make no money off of this basket. Now, if I was going to sell this, now some of these pillows I got at 50% off. So that would have made it 5, 10, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 14, 15, 16, 17. So $18 is really honestly what I spent on doing this. So we'll say $20. So by it being like that, Knowing me, I would say, okay, I'm going I'm to sell this one. I'm going to have to price this basket at the wholesale price. Am I right, y'all? Y'all tell me if I'm right or wrong. But anyway, put it this way. I'm going to have to price this basket according to <clears throat> sort of kind of the deal that I got. Because if I try, if, if I paid, um, if I charge, if it really cost $40, I'm going to slow down. If it really costs $40 to do this. And I do my, you know, let's say four times three. I say I charge $120. Then I'm going to be honest and tell y'all, I know my work look good. I believe I want to believe and I pray that, that y'all believe in y'all work. But I don't think that this would really sell that great <clears throat> for $120. I I don't think so, but I could be wrong. I ain't, listen, I, my, my, my mouth ain't the gospel. But I can tell you this. If I was to sell this at $60, Right, because if I pay five, ten, 
like I said, four, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. If I paid twenty dollars, <throat> which is what about what I spent on this, if I paid to, uh or close to it, y'all, I I my numbers, I've been dealing with so much buying stuff and putting stuff that my mouth ball might be off. So I'm just using this as an example. Let's say I spent a total of my money, $20 to do this. Then definitely I'm going to charge at least $60. Um, I'm definitely going to charge at least $60 for this basket. Uh, why? Because I know the value of what's in here if they were to go purchase this stuff um, retail. Y'all get what I'm saying? That makes sense? I hope that makes sense. So I want to show y'all <clears throat> just that simple, um, one little simple basket. One, two, three, four. Like I said, five items. One, two, three, four. Five items in that basket. I'm going to sit this basket over here to the side. Because I told y'all I was going to come home and do a basket. Y'all thought I was playing, didn't you? Hey! Y'all thought I was playing. I ain't playing. Look, I already got me another picture out. Already. Look. I got me another box. This is a box, like I said. So to my beginner basket makers that don't know what I mean when I say make sure you fill your box. There it go. Y'all see that paper? I use craft paper in here. I use a piece of tissue paper to put on top of this. So all you do is push it down, push it around, um, just so, you know, to make it nice and neat to hide your components, to hide the mechanics, as they say. In other words, for us um, slow people to hide that paper. <laughs> look, just to make it look a little nicer because you don't want nobody to open the box and they see no brown paper. Okay. So here we go, y'all. Look. And I don't know where my hot gun is. So as y'all can see, that's the price of that. I hope y'all can see it. Can y'all see that? I can't see what y'all see. But y'all see that the price of it was $7.98. So I'm going to make sure this might come off. Oh, I was going to say this look like it's going to come off easy. And it might. Hold on, y'all. I have to take my time, y'all, to get this price off here because I don't know where my hot gun is. I let my daughters use it the other day. Oh, I know where it is. It's in my spare room. So I got that price off. Make sure, my beginner basket, make sure you take the price off of your items. Now, again, how you design your basket is your business. I ain't got nothing to do with it. I'm just showing you how I do mine. So I always, whenever I got a box, uh, whatever I'm using, I make sure I put something in the front and the back. I make I make sure that my items, that I got a, a nice item facing one way and then the other items facing another way. So that's why you see me. And also this is going to be used, I'm using this picture to hold my items up in place. So that's what, see this is, a, this is called a backer. So this is, that'll be a good backer for that. See, you see how that's standing up in there? And I can see his little face. I might bring them up a little bit more. Push my paper down. So, again, I got my pillows right here, y'all. I got one. And I'm taking it. Look, I'm just taking this price tag off. Cutting that off. Look, and knowing me without cutting my pillow, because y'all know how, how we can get. Okay. So, here's one pillow. I'm putting that facing this way. Y'all see how I got that facing that way? I'm doing that one facing that way. I got my other pillow. I might put my little uh, paper in here first because that paper wants to jump all out like it's got, got somewhere to be at a certain time, like it's got an appointment. But anyway, I took the price tag off of it, y'all. I put that one the back that way. So I'm going to put this one backed up to that one. Y'all see it? And I'm going to put it this way and put his little tail in the box because he wants to show his tail, y'all. <laughs> he wants to show his tail. You're not showing your tail today. So y'all see how it looks. And this is a nice size box. It's nice and full. I'm going to, uh, I forgot to get my carrots, y'all. But I'm going to go ahead and put some paper in here while I got y'all on this, on this camera. Go ahead and put some paper. Fill that a little bit. Yeah, he wants to fall, so I know we're going to put some paper in there. That's all right. So I'm going to go on and put some paper in there to fill that up. So it'll look nice and professional. Y'all see what I'm doing. Hey, hey, hey. Put the paper. Again, that's just the, uh, the shred paper is really just to cover up that white 
uh, tissue paper just to make it look, look a little decorative, y'all, to make it look like we know what we're doing. Hey, we got it going on. So I'm going to put his little tail back in this box. And what I do, y'all, normally I tape my stuff down, which I'm going to tape it down before I um, sell or wrap it. I promise y'all that. So just put your little, put your paper in there. Put your uh, shred paper in there. Just to fill some spots and to, like I said, to bring. And the reason why I'm using white is because of, of course, the obvious, the bunny, the bunny uh, ears and the bunny tail and the stripes on the, um, on the pillow are white. So I just figured that would look real nice. I'm going to stuff his little tail back in here. And I might have to go and tape it down so it can stop falling. Now, this box is a little smaller than the that, uh, one I, that I just did. So, I'm going I'm to butt that up to y'all right there. Just keep y'all hold him for a minute. Keep him in your lap for one second. Let me go get some carrots. Hold on, y'all. I'm going to have to warm up my coffee, y'all, because my coffee getting cold when I'm talking to y'all. Every time I try to do these videos, my coffee getting to be cold. Y'all heard me. Y'all heard me. I'm going to try to warm up my coffee i had to go get some carrots y'all over there so taking these price and i'm doing the exact same thing like i said i'm gonna make um i'm probably gonna do four of these just just because uh i got to wrap some more boxes because i ain't got no more boxes wrapped but i decided to do these since i had uh had these two boxes already wrapped i'm gonna get my tape y'all hold on here you go Look, I didn't even have to go far. My tape right here. This came, this tape gun came from Walmart. This uh, easy start tape came from Walmart. But I've been had that tape gun for a minute, y'all. Okay. Put him back in this box. So I'm going to have to turn it away from y'all so I can see what I'm doing. Put him back in this box. I'm going to tape his little self down cause, so he don't move. Because he, he just want to be disrespectful. I guess he said, Easter over, honey. You ain't finna stuff me in no box again, but I am and is and, and is. Y'all see that? I start to call him a bad name, and I don't even say bad words like that. I'm going to tape him on down, y'all, while y'all on camera. So make sure that you tape your items down good in your, in your, um, in your box, y'all, whenever you design on the box. That would be cute with the tail sticking out like that, won't it? But I don't want it like that. I ain't gonna do it like that. I don't know. I might. Let's see how. Let's see. Let's see how this gonna work out, y'all. So I'm gonna take this pillow. Take these two pillars to each other. And I might end up taping this one to the bottom. Let me see. Oh, he's staying now. Oh, he just wanted to be married. He just wanted to be doing this whole matrimony. <laughs> y'all heard that? Now he's staying still. I guess he said, you done put me with somebody. I did. I matched. I'm a good matchmaker, so that's what I did. I matched them together. So now, there you go. See how I got that, y'all? Put them pillows in there. I put tape on this side, and I put tape on that side to hold it together, to hold them in the box. I think I'm going to leave his little tail out there. That'll add a little, little something to, to the um, basket, y'all, to make it look a little, you know what I'm saying. Same thing, y'all. I'm going to put a, a pair of carrots right there on the side so they can see that and i'm gonna put another pair of carrots on this side so that's that's the whole basket right there y'all that's all i'm gonna do to this basket that's it i'm telling y'all y'all see how that go we got the carrots we got the picture we got the two pillows the bunny tail sticking out Easy, breezy, lemon, peasy. Hey, li easy, breezy, lemon, peasy. But I am going to get a piece of tape, y'all. And I hope, I pray to God that this tape don't mess up my carrots. But again, I like to make sure that my items, y'all see that? See that horse try to attach to that? I'm going to pray to God. I'm going to put, let me tell y'all what I'm going to do. Y'all see this piece of um, transparent tape? I'm going to stick a little bit of piece on the edge. I'm going to stick a little bit of piece on the edge of this picture. And I'm praying that it don't mess up. I'm going to do that on both sides. So, like I said, when I wrap it and I transport it, it'll stay in place. I wish y'all could see how much uh, tape I'm going to use on this. So, can y'all see it? Not really. 
So again, I try to keep the tape away from the box because y'all know if that tape ever get a hold of that box, it's definitely going to tear that paper. So I'm going to I'm gonna have to, uh, like I said, I'm putting a little, a little bit of piece on the edge of that picture so that when they take the tape off, it won't bring none of the paint off the picture. So I'm just putting a little piece on the edge. Then I'm taking it around and I'm attaching it again to the bunny. If y'all see, wait a minute. So if y'all can see right there, I put a little bit of piece right, right there and took it around there and attached it to that, to that, um, pill, to that, um, pillow. And I'm going to do the same thing for over here. Get me a piece of tape. Attach it to the picture just a little bit. Hold it down. Look, and it want to come off the picture. Don't do that. Don't add up. Again, y'all, I'm just taking it around. Here to this pillow. I know y'all can't really see me because I'm trying to do it and I'm showing y'all, but y'all see what I did right there? Same thing. I put a little piece of tape right here on the edge, bought it around, put it around them carrots, and then attached it right here to this pillow so that everything in here uh, stand. And that's the end of that. Look, that basket, it wouldn't even took me five minutes if I won't trying to talk to y'all and explain, but I want to show y'all. Uh, to all my beginner basket makers so you'll know. So for y'all that left them bunny pillows in that store, thank you. Thank you to my pillow. Thank you for the pillow. Because I, be I believe, and I hope that I'm right, y'all. I believe that these going to sell pretty good because some people decorate, like I said, they don't just use bunnies for Easter. Um, Like a lady up the street from me, uh, she has her bunny pillows outside in her chairs on her front porch. Uh, she used a lot of black and white checkerboard things. So uh, that's that's really how it inspired me to get these pillows when I was at the Walmart. Cause I said, you know what? That's cute. And she um she decorate her porch all the time uh, for every season. And there's always a black checkerboard pattern with either uh, Valentine Day with black checkerboard and red, or she do the black checkerboard. And then she has the Easter stuff. Um, I'm I'm ready to see what she's gonna do for Fourth of July. I don't know how. Well, that'll look cute too, black and red. So that'll work, won't it, y'all? But to each his own. Everybody, everybody's designed differently. Like I said, I'm just showing y'all what I did to this basket. Showing y'all that I did come home to my niece, <laughs> Ivory, that told me I need to get out the stove. She hurt my feelings so bad. No, you didn't, babe. I'm just joking. Uh, but I did get out the stove, and I came home, and I designed two baskets right before y'all very eyes. Hey, hey, hey. I'm going to put a little bit of paper on this side, y'all. I bet y'all say, wow. Look, I won't even looking at y'all ones. I'm sorry. Sometimes, y'all, we get caught up like this. Sometimes we be trying to figure out what in the world we got going on. Look, or we be concentrating. That's what I like to say. I be concentrating so hard, I be forgetting. Okay. So I'm putting that paper in there just to make my, um, again, to make my box nice and decorative. And that's it, y'all. I ain't even got to cut the grass on here. I can just stuff that down. That's what I like about this big paper because it will stuff down a little better. So look, you can still see my little bunny peeping out. I pulled them up just a little bit. You can still see my little bunny peeping out, y'all seeing? My little bunny peeping out, y'all. Got my carrots in there. That's the back with his little tail. I think that's going to be so cute. Again, that's the other side view. So you got your five items, y'all. And then these two baskets that I just done with y'all, now they ready to wrap, baby. They ready to wrap and roll. So um, just wanted to show y'all that because I know my, my um, time will run out on my camera right quick. So just wanted to show y'all that. Hopefully, y'all give me a thumbs up. Let me know what y'all think about this. Let me know how much you would um, charge if you did this very same concept with the, with the exact items and if you have them. Let me know how much you're going to charge for your basket. Everybody, everybody pricing is different. Everybody ain't going to do the same thing. Um, you know, price their stuff the same. But I want to know, you know, do y'all think that uh, $60 for this is too high? Or do you think I should go higher? I'm just saying, 
But I'm going to tell you right now, it's going to start at 60. I ain't going below 60. <laughs> 5, 10, 15. Even at 5, 10, happened 12. Yeah, even if I spent $20 myself doing this, I got to make a profit, y'all. Come on. So, anyway, let me know. Until the next video, y'all already know. Keep your head up. Keep your head up. Hey, hey, keep your head up. Keep your head up so your crown don't fall. Make sure that y'all like, share, comment, and subscribe. Go ahead and hit that subscription button. When you hit click on subscription, a little bell going to come up. Bing, that little bell. You see that little bell? Bing, just click on that bell. The word all is going to come up. Click on the word all so that you'll be notified when I upload a video because I stay in the store. <laughs> Look, you'll be notified when I upload a video. If you click the word all, you'll also know when I'm going live, when I'm somewhere. Uh, Look, spending money, yeah, doing that. I do the most, for real. I do the most. But anyway, y'all, make sure y'all like, share, comment, and subscribe. Go get your mama, your daddy, your sister, your brother, your aunt, your uncles, your niece, your nephews, your cousins, your grandma, your granddaddy, your neighbors, your co-workers, your friends, and your enemies. Bring them on over here. Bring them on over here. Bring them. Bring them. Bring them on over here. Bring them. Bring, bring them on over here. Hey, lean back. <laughs> bring them on over here. Tell them to, to, to subscribe to this channel. To all my beginner basket makers, basket lovers, basket buyers, the best designers, don't worry, y'all. I don't act up all the time, just all the time, okay? <laughs> okay, y'all, I'm going to go design some more baskets because now, y'all, I'm on the road. I done started them two baskets. Now, this little train finna chicka, 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 chicka. This train finna chicka on down and make some more baskets. But uh, keep in mind, y'all, um, you got to charge for your time, your gas, and your skills. And the stuff that's in the basket. So I'm just saying now. I'm just saying. Don't be scared to price your stuff. Price it. Like I said, don't go outrageous. But price it with that you make some money off of. Because other than that, it's just a hobby. Y'all heard what I said. If you ain't making no money, Miss Robbie said the best. If it don't make money, it don't make sense. So listen. Let me know. I got to go, y'all, to the next video. I got to go. I got to go. All right, y'all. Bye-bye. Y'all, I'm too short. I can't reach it. Bye.